Okay. There he is. Yeah, yeah! Okay. I gotta get him distracted. If he's chasing and charging, then this ain't gonna work. Yeah, yeah! Okay, he lacerated me. Shoot. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here. Back in your lives with another episode of The Flame and the Flood. This is episode three in episode... Two, I died via snake bite. Things went horribly wrong now. I'm not sure, because when I tried to play, it looked like I was back at the beginning, but I tried to play the version with checkpoints. So I'm gonna click continue, see where we are. If we're back at the very beginning, so be it. But hopefully there will be a checkpoint. We were five miles down this damn river. I don't wanna start all over again, but I really enjoy this game, and it doesn't bother me one way or another how many times I have to play it. It'll be just like Don't Starve Shipwrecked. You watched the early stages of that enough times to know I suck at video games. So replaying things is fairly common. Now, I'm gonna skip this. You guys have seen this if you watched episode one. See, it looks like we're right back at the beginning. New signal, new goal radio signal. Now, I watched the recording. I clicked on the right checkpoint. I don't know what happened. That's all right. Let's hit the road. You guys have seen this before. We're not going to walk you through the basics. Uh, we're just going to collect what's here. Cattails and whatnot, which you remember become very valuable. In fact, I should probably save them as long as I can manage. And we'll get another feather. Get lost. Wolf info. Yes, there you go. There's your black wolf. That's, things got bad with wolves uh, last time search right here. I'm gonna take all of this. This building's always empty. So we got a bunch of cool stuff added to our uh, inventory there. Collect these last couple cattails. And check the cache. Cash. Why do I do that? This will give us basic tools. Make a knife, make a hammer, and then eventually we'll be able to collect once we've completed those goals. And um, now we get to head out on the river. It looks like it's always stormy when you hit this river. Man, it intimidates me. Come on, Aesop. Let's hit it, buddy. And we're gonna go off to the right here, I think, guys. I don't really know how to uh, navigate this river. I think staying towards the center is as good an idea as there is. But the center keeps changing, so... Uh, if you guys have played a lot of this game, if you played yourselves a lot of Flame in the Flood, and you got tips or tricks that you want to share with old UTC, do it. Look at this. I love this. I mean, the water's gonna get fast. Oh god! Whoops, I made a big mistake. We'll go in between these. Oh my god, another big... Yeah, I got some tips and tricks from people, and the number one was keep your raft in as good a condition as possible. No, nope, we'll go this way. Let's find mud crab flats. Mud crab flats, deep country, farms, camps, and a hell of a lot of wilderness. This is region one of ten. And we're about to start finding some cool locations to explore. Let's grab this loot. No, I can't do it. There's all kinds of little loot spots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get that. There you go. Fishing line out here on these rocks in the middle. Oh, man. What a gorgeous little game this is. I'm so glad I finally went and picked this one up. And I'm glad you guys are here with me and that we're making a let's play of it. Church. Church is the first thing. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then a whole lot of wilderness. Let's see if we can't head over to this church. Oh, yes. All right. Now, don't be a wolf. Let's hope that nothing bad is here. Alright guys, let's explore our first little island here. Oh hell yes, a ton of cattails. This is a great start. The first island being a church is one that I haven't come across. It having a ton of cattails can only be good for us. Let's fill the inventory up with cattails. I know I ran short of those in our first run. It's kind of lame that we're back at the beginning here. 
That's a lot of spider webs. Are there bad spiders in this game? I haven't come across a bad evil spider. But, um... Yeah, let's go have a look in the creepiest church of all time. Uh, sleep, let's just put in one hour of rest. Go on, Aesop, lead the way, my friend. I'm eager to see what sort of things we can find this time around. What sort of new, uh, sort of places and, and, uh, things we can craft, because... We ran into a little trouble with the cattails last time, and I needed to make traps, traps that let us take on the bigger, sort of medium-sized game, the pigs and the boars. Oh, cool. A school bus here and a lot of yucca. The yucca, once you find it... Oh, inventory full already. I wonder what I kept from last time with Aesop. Nothing. It totally restarted us. Okay, that's cool. Um, well, we are thirsty. But our jar is empty. I really have not done a good job starting out. We'll keep all these cattails. We got 24. That's awesome. Um, I'll eat this. That's about right. And we'll move some of this stuff over to Aesop here. I drank that. I meant to move to Aesop. We're drunk. We are drunk. Move to Aesop. How did I do that? What a moron. God damn. God damn it. Okay, well, we're intoxicated. That's not that big a problem. We can handle it. I'm sure that doesn't do anything for my hydration, but we'll survive. And look how tired I got because of drinking. Wow. How do you clear... How do you cure drunkness? Time? Time. Walk it off. Yep, that's right. Okay, we're back. We're no longer drunk, and our, our stamina has been restored, which is a good thing. All right, I think this is all we have. there is on this island. I think we've had a look around at everything of value. We can head back for a little cute little boat. Uh, the inventory management is one that, like, if you get it down and you, you end up being able to grab everything you want off an island, it makes life easier. You can avoid getting caught out in the rain, all kinds of stuff. This braided cord is super valuable. So is the tinder. As I learned at the end there, I needed to make a fire so that I could make a dandelion tea, but it was pouring rain. The torch, which I'm glad we didn't drink all the booze, the torch lets you scare off wolves. We're gonna make one more of the braided cord, and then we're gonna make sure this inventory is not a mess. You go to the raft. You go to the raft. Uh, we'll fill this up, and we'll use the water filter immediately. We'll make ourselves a thing of clean water, and we'll drink it because we're, we're going to need that too. Uh, actually, let's wait. Let's wait. It gives you a 50, and we're only at 76, so we're going to save that. Dry. Okay, cool. Uh, the music kicks back up, and we head back on this river. I think we're going to aim down here for the wilderness, 88 miles, stick to the right side here, we'll go to the campground afterwards. I mean, instead of trying to hit all of these, instead of trying to hit them all and missing out, we're going to stick to one side, Macedon. Interesting name for an island, a wilderness island. I don't know what kind of trouble we'll run into here. Cattails galore. So strange after last time, I was just dying for some cattails, for some tinder to start that fire and to make, I needed even more so that I could make that trap to kill a wolf or a pig. Um, and we are just loaded with them. This is an unbelievable score. Um, I was careful last time and I tried not to use them for insulation in my clothing, which you can do once you have found, uh, oh, devil's trumpet. That's poison, if I remember. Sumac, also poison. Yes, you can use it for insul insulation along with that stitching up kit. Oh, cool. I haven't done the basics yet. So I'll get the task. Let's see if I can't make the knife now. Let's see if I can't craft ourselves. How do you do this, the stone knife? More flint. Okay, well let's see if we can't track down more flint. I have flint on, on old Aesop? Yeah, that's the one that I have. Okay, so more flint is essential. We get too many cattails, not enough flint. But I'll collect these dandelions because they can clear you of that stuff too. They can help cure you of what ails you. 
I think I've looked around here. Have I been? Nope. Okay. We got a couple saplings. A bunch of saplings, actually. Which is good news. That lets us get the snare. Oh, and a box of un... un oh, yes. Cool. We might crash for the night here. There's that flint. Cool. And what else we got? Good things are happening, guys. Good things are happening right now. Inventory's full. Okay, fine. Okay, craft that knife. Where's it at? Uh, stone knife. Thank you. Oh, yes. Make the inventory space. Don't worry about it. Stone knife it is. And yeah, you see, we could insulate all our gear here. I'm going to wait. If we start running into trouble, I will. But at the time being, I'm going to wait it out because I think we may end up using all these cattails. Uh, we may end up wanting them or we may end up with better gear just from killing bat, you know, creatures, the uh, boars and the wolves with the spear traps. I'm going to make one of those. And if I can, I'll make us another snare. I think this is all we'll need. Just a little more braided cord. Nope, I can't make the snare. I must be missing some snare-related ingredient. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, let's um, keep searching around. I already check all these out. I did check all these out. And maybe we'll call it night and crash in this old bus. Rags and flint. Oh, inventory's full. Uh, what the hell? I cannot manage this. <laughs> Alright, so we shall call it a night. We'll get one hour of sleep. And that'll probably help us wrap up day one, and then we hit that river. And we try and make up some of the ground that we made in episodes one and two of this series. This is a restart. It is what it is. The game kind of gave me the... I don't know what happened. I went back and watched to see if I made a dumb mistake, and I don't think I did. Yeah, I see it, Aesop. I'm coming. Uh, let's roll out. Let's try and get our way back to our raft, eh? I don't think this is the right way. Maybe it is. Nope. Definitely not. Let's go. Let's hustle. Let's boogie. Okay, here we go. This is the way to go. And I gotta keep this inventory under control. I gotta really do a better job managing that. Okay, you can go to the raft. You can go to the raft. We'll use you if we need you. Um, same with all this stuff. Uh, feathers for sure. Go over to the raft. Rags can go to Aesop. And if you die, anything you leave in Aesop comes back to you. So what I'm going to do is put that very valuable spear trap and maybe even the torch on him. And I think we're still able to access them on the run. I think. Like, if I go like this right now... No, I don't have the torch. Okay, well, we'll get those off them when we hit another island. I just want to make sure that we... Honestly, that we hold on to them. Should anything happen, and we do have to restart again. Because, um... Having a few of those basic resources... Uh, that's key. I really don't know how I did that. Because every other time we've played... We've had, uh... Every other time I've played, I've had access to... Whatever I left in Aesop the time before, and then this time, not only did we not spawn at our checkpoint, I mean, we made it into region 3, so that's where we should have spawned, I think. But, uh, there you go. But we spawned with nothing there. So, Bayou Stewart, Swamp Tours and Tackle. Swamp Tours and Tackle. Cool. I thought it was a uh, campground. Sounds like a bait shop. And that means rain is coming. So, let's hustle and we'll see if we... Yes, I know I'm thirsty. Let's not worry about that ant stings. Let's just see if there's some shelter here. There is... And we're going to get in, we're going to try and sleep this one out. Let's go two hours, and we'll stay dry at the very least. I'll have to cure those ant stings. Maybe with some aloe, is that the key? That might be the key to doing those. Oh good, the rain is even worse. And we're wet. Let's sleep for f two more hours, and then we'll see about clearing up our stamina and things like that. Am I not doing it? Let's... two hours. Maybe this rain will, will, will relent by then. But being wet is not good for you. There we go. Okay. 
So we still have these ant stings. I think they heal themselves. Aloe, yeah, if we can find some aloe, I might have some on the boat. But now that the weather's not so bad, we can definitely explore over here. If I didn't make it, uh, if I didn't make our, a, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, thing that, the snare. If I didn't make that, we'll make one now and we'll see about maybe catching us up a rabbit. Flint and a moldy lump. Moldy lump, I think, used to make penicillin. Snare. Let's try it. And that'll be under three. I'll be able to wander over there and place this snare somewhere around these little rabbits. They all run away and hop down their holes. But if I wander away, they will come back. So just like Don't Starve, we're going to build this trap right over the hole. This time it's not with crabs, though. It's with the old rabbits. Like more traditional Don't Starve. And we'll finish exploring here. We'll see if there's... I think I might have caught one already. I think... We may have already... Is that my stupid controller vibrating? God damn, I hope you guys didn't have to hear that. Uh, you know, as much as I've been doing YouTube now for a year, I still oftentimes feel like a bit of an amateur. Have some rookie mistakes. It happens to the best of us. Like, I, I have this where I have to reset. Use fire. Okay, can I light that fire? Yes, so I gave up my dry tinder. We light the fire. That'll warm us up. And we'll make sure we consume some water. And, um, oh, cooked yucca. Cool. This will be good for our health. And stone hammer. This will let us collect, when we make it to another mailbox, this will let us collect a resource. And that stone hammer opens up new raft improving capabilities for you. So let's consume this. And cooked yucca, I'll consume the whole stack. It'll replenish and restore us. And we'll move, I guess, this mold over to ASAP. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Let's leave. And uh, we'll leave this fire going. Grab a little dandelion on our way out of town and we'll hit the open ocean again. Uh, I think we have one more island we can hit within this episode. I hope you guys have the stamina for it. I tend to do about 20 minutes an episode these days. That really works for me. Seems to work pretty well for you guys. Oh, I gotta go check my snare. I gotta go check my snare. Any dead rabbits? Yes, there is a dead rabbit. Pretty sweet. I almost left without doing that. There we go. So we now have a, a rabbit in our inventory. We can skin it. And when we do, we get two things. Hide and meat. And actually, let's head back to that fire while it's still burning. And... Um, We'll cook our meat, and while we do, maybe we'll make some gloves or a hat out of the pelt of that rabbit. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be cool. Use fire. Sit. And you can sleep, of course, in front of the fire, too. But we don't need to. Our stamina is pretty good right now. Uh, cooked meat. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I am going to make a rabbit pelt. Nope, we'll do the gloves. The gloves are what we're doing. And sweet. How sweet that is. Okay. Uh, so the gloves, I will equip. And the meat, you know what? We're going to save the meat for later. I have to remember when we leave to fill up that water jar uh, down on the dock. And then we'll uh, purify it, uh, filter it, whatever you call it. And we'll set off for another another spot. We have that big chunk of meat that will that'll sustain us on our journey. Those are ants. Be careful. Be careful of ants. I think I'm still suffering from the stings. Do I have aloe on this boat? I have aloe anywhere. I don't seem to have aloe anywhere. Okay. That's fine. We will fill you up. We'll take back this water filter. Actually, I don't think I even have to. I think it lets me do it. Yeah. So when you're standing on the dock, you can access that inventory like it's your own, which is kind of cool. You don't have to fuss and move things back and forth. It's pretty straightforward in that sense. Move this sapling to the raft. And I feel good about that, how my inventory is looking. Yeah. Cattails slowly getting used up, as I knew they would. But I think I have more uh, more stored there. And we'll see what's what's the next spot. Looks like forest. Looks like, a, like I said, we're sticking to this one side of the river. And instead of trying to crisscross it and hit everything, we're going to make sure we just get everything, you know, center and right of center. And this one is right in our path. I hope 
There's no danger waiting here. Pleasant Fields. It certainly sounds like there's no danger. The place is called Pleasant Fields. What does a fool have to worry about? I know. Oh. Well, right, let's head back here. Let's make sure I get some stuff onto that raft. All right, off we go. All right, saplings, that's a good thing. Oh, and more cattails, sweet. You know what, maybe we will make that insulated clothing. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to slowly accrue enough hide to, uh, to gear, you know, to actually make a nice winter coat, that sort of thing. Here is a water thing. Let's just drink from it and we'll risk it. Yes, it was good water, okay, cool. Take some yucca, take some yucca, more cattails. This is good, this island is lush. Pleasant fields indeed, we even got mulberries. Infection, is that from that dirty water? And ant stings, and oh, this dirty water really messed us up. Infection, I can't imagine how you clear infection. Penicillin, oh, okay. So you may get to see the spear trap in action. We clearly have another wild boar to deal with, another vicious beast of a now, they usually have a range where they'll start to leave you alone. Okay, he's gonna try and leave us alone. Let's have a look at this infection. Uh, it leads- things get much worse. Uh, things get much, much worse after this. So, penicillin, which is made by, I think, two things of lumpy mold? Do I have two things of lumpy mold in my inventory? I only have one. Okay, moldy lump, not lumpy mold. Uh, so, you guys are about to get to see- Okay, come on, spear trap me up. And we'll just get close enough to set this up, and we're gonna spear a damn boar. We're gonna spear him. We're gonna lure him in. Where's your hangout? Where's your hangout, you vicious swine? You hog SOB. So try and stay on this path, I guess. And we'll find him, and we'll lure him out. There he is. Okay. There he is. Yeah, yeah! Okay. I gotta get him distracted. If he's chasing and charging, then this ain't gonna work. Yeah, yeah! Okay, he lacerated me. Shoot. I think that's not the way that you should say it. Okay, back off, dude. Back off, dude. Okay. So we know he'll come this far down. Let's set up this spear trap. And I'll see about clearing up some of these injuries. We're in some rough shape. So there's the spear trap. It's got tension on it. And as soon as I lure him in, it'll release on him. I still have some sprint available to me, so I'm going to save that. The real trick with them is you don't have to worry unless they're charge mode. Once they're in charge mode like that, then you sprint. You sprint and you lure him into your mother effing trap. Let's search this creature. Oh, yes. Take all. Take the hide. Take the meat. And guys, you know what? I know I'm in rough shape and I need to cure myself, but let's call an end to this episode three of the Flame and the Flood. I'm Unite the Clans. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will give you another episode in a couple of days. A new day rises on Ocean's Gate. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here back in your life with a brand new season of Minecraft. We are back. We are back here at Ocean's Glorious Gate, the place you all chose for me a year ago. Uh, exactly a year ago, guys, I posted my very first video. And in it, I showed off five glorious, amazing Minecraft seeds and asked you to help me pick a home, help me pick a place to play. And you did. You chose this one. And over the course of 20 amazing episodes, we built everything you see here. And we're back. It's season two. I have a new skin and we have a new version of Minecraft. This is 1.8.9, which means one thing. We can fly. Uh, I don't know how to get into the groove and out of the, the dramatic. There you go. We're gliding. We are gliding. Let's we'll duck in and out of our old buildings, our old builds. Yes, yes, yes.